Okay, let's talk about operator precedents. We have a lot of mathematical operators we can use in a programming language like addition, subtraction, multiplication, um, division, modulus. But when we start to chain them together, then it matters the order in which those operations are executed. So let me give you a couple examples here. First of all, one where it doesn't matter. If I do 5 plus 7 plus 3, doesn't really matter the order that I do the additions in, even though there's two of them. Okay? So for example, if I do 5 plus 7 first, that's 12 plus 3, and then the result obviously is 15. But if I do it the other direction, 7 plus 3 first, that's 10, 5 plus 10 is 15. So with addition, it doesn't really matter. But what if I went and replaced the addition with subtraction instead? Okay, so 5 minus 7 minus 3. Let's do the same thing. 5 minus 7 first is minus 2. Minus 3 more is minus 5. So if I do the first subtraction first, I end up with negative 5. On the other hand, if I do the second subtraction first, I end up with a 4 here, 5 minus 4, or 1. So clearly, the order matters if I'm using subtraction. What about multiplication and division? Well, if you think about it, multiplication is really just a shorthand for repeated addition. And division is really a shorthand for repeated subtraction. So you might suspect that it doesn't matter for multiplication, but it does for division. And in fact, that's right. So let's check it out. Three times two times four. Going the first direction, six times four, or 24. If I do it the other way, Two times four is eight. Three times eight is twenty-four. So it doesn't matter the order in multiplication. Division, though, it does. So let's do a uh, another example here. Six divided by two divided by three. Okay. Uh, first time we'll do the first division first. So I'm left with 3 divided by 3, or 1 as my result. If I do it second division first, in essence I have this. 6 divided by 2 thirds, which is 6 times 3 halves, 18 over 2, or 9. So clearly, the order of operation matters if you're using division or subtraction, but not if you're using addition or multiplication. It gets more complicated when we start to mix those things together. Okay, so bottom line is, a computer trying to interpret mathematical expressions would definitely need to know what things to do first. And that's what precedence is. Okay, so here's the order of operations that we use in our programming language. First of all, we can parenthesize expressions to make them happen first or to make clear what should happen first. So, in terms of precedence, running from first to last, the very first thing we'll do is any sub-expression that happens to be in parentheses. If they're nested, so I have parentheses within parentheses, I would do the ones inside first and then work my way out. Then I'm going to do multiplication, division, and modulo operators left to right 
if there's more than one of them at the same precedence level. And finally, we'll do addition and subtraction, also left to right. Okay, so that's the order of operations, and we could do a few examples here to illustrate how that would work. We'll start with a couple of the ones that we just did to show you what the computer actually does. Okay, in all of these expressions, I'm just using numbers so that it's clear in terms of the outcome of the math, but any of those numbers could be replaced by variables, and it wouldn't impact the order of operations. It would change the result, obviously, but not the order of operations. So let's start with 5 minus 7 minus 3. How does that work? Well, these are all in the same precedence level because there's no parentheses telling me uh, which one to do first, and there's nothing of higher or lower precedence than subtraction in that expression, so I just do them from left to right. So the answer is to do the 5 minus 7 first, which results in minus 2, then minus 3 after that, and so my end result of that expression will be negative 5. Okay? Left to right when they're equal precedence levels. Now if I mix that up, let's say put a multiplication in there, now the multiplication has precedence over the subtraction, so that happens first. The 7 times 3 is evaluated first, giving me 21, or 21, oh, like that, and then I do this part, so now the result of this expression is minus 16, okay? So when I don't have any parentheses, but I have a mixture of operators, I would do the most high precedent operators first from left to right, and then the lowest precedence operators next, again from left to right, all right? So, Six divided by two divided by three. How does that work? Well, all equal precedence. So I'm going to go ahead and do the division first, this division first. Six divided by two is three. Divided by three is one. And so that expression evaluates to one. Now if I were to change, let's mix this up and have multiplication first and then division. Both of those are of equal precedence, so I just do them from left to right exactly like I did when we just had divisions. So 6 times 2 is 12, divided by 3 is 4, and so that's the result of that expression. Okay? One last expression here. We'll throw in some parentheses just to complicate the matter a little bit. Okay, so this tells me that I'm going to do whatever's in the parentheses first. So 5 times 4 would happen first, which is 20. Now I'm left with an addition and a division. The division is of higher precedence, so that happens next. And then finally my addition kicks off, and I would have 5. Right? Now, we can totally change the order of all those operations by changing the place where the parentheses lie. Okay? So, for example, different expression. Now, the parentheses tell me to do the 3 plus 5 first. So, I have 8 times 4 divided by 10, and now this gets a little sticky, admittedly, because I didn't choose my numbers carefully enough. What's going to happen next? Well, 8 times 4, because these are both equal level precedent operations, so I do them from left to right. 8 times 4 is 32. I'm left with one more operation of division, and this is where it gets sticky. What's the result of that? The answer is it depends on whether or not these are integers or floats, okay? 
the way I've written them, since they don't have any point zeros beside them, these are integers. So this is integer division. 32 divided by 10 is 3. Okay? So don't forget that when we're doing just integers, any division is integer division lops off any fractional component. Okay? So remember precedence. Parentheses first, then all of our multiplication, division, modulo operators, and then plus and minus. If they're equal precedence level, then you just do them from left to right. So if you follow those rules, you can be just like the computer and evaluate any expression with no problems.